Hello everybody to the ASF World Cup. We are at the final to decide who is going to be walking or walking away. Well, what has all the effort been worth? It's been worth the victory of the World Cup, but who's going to be out of Shadow Strikers and Manix Maniacs? They clash right here, right now, uninterrupted here on YouTube. To see who will be walking away our first ASF World Cup winner through all the trials and tribulations. And I am Mr. AKI alongside Dr. Eggman here at Ringside the Call. All the action. Once again, it will be an elimination process, and I guess, well, it, the screen beat us to the chase. I guess we have, uh, we have a pretty good idea of who's coming out to start off things for Manix Maniacs. You got that right. Here comes Sonic. <laughs> it's a bit of a giveaway, all that, really. Just a bit. But yes, if the same rules apply as they did for the playoff, which was yesterday. So, must be eliminated by pinfall, submission, or countout. The disqualification is turned off. I want to make sure that we have a true, definite winner here. Even if it's by countout. Well, technically, that's a victory for some. It actually gives uh, actually gives the Manix Maniacs a bit of an advantage against Chaos, who will be in this match because all five members of each team will take part in this match at some point, unless, of course, the other team loses more members before the other team. So who knows? Who will see in the opening start off of this match? Two members of one team in the ring at the same time. No tags involved. It's just gonna get down and dirty. That's the way we do it best. It looks like the team captain's coming out first. For Manix Maniacs, much like the Warriors Warriors yesterday for his team. So yes, it definitely proves that Manic here is the same Manic and Warrior are from the uh, the uh, the same kind of mindset. They're coming out first to represent their teams. How long will they survive though? Wario didn't last very long. You didn't last very long either. And now I didn't, but I didn't come in at the start. And I only wanted to eliminate Billy, that's an accomplishment me and Sonic can both share in this World Cup. Isn't that nice? Yes, he did beat Billy, that was in the first week, I believe. Yes, in the singles competition. Oh, actually, <laughs> speaking of chaos, here he comes. Well, actually this is smart for Shadow. This is very smart. But one of the guys that is extremely dominant and can't be eliminated by pinfall unless people are really trying, but even then, it's almost classed as impossible. Get the unpinnable one out there and start wreaking havoc. This is smart game plan by Shadow, who's the team captain now for Shadow Strikers. His two first two members are coming out here. And the second, a second at the bat. It is going to be the Money in the Bank owner, the mascot Rumble winner. It's Metal Sonic. Shadow has got a heck of a game plan coming into this one. I'm already going to predict that he's going to win. You think so? Yep. If you want a breakdown, that's my breakdown. This is a smart game plan. Sonic is too full of himself and Manic, with all respect, well, him and Metal Sonic ironically had a war at the mascot rumble to determine the number one contender. Manic came up short, he even made the mistake of interrupting that 10 count in the last man standing match, when he probably had that match won. Will he make the same mistake twice, one might ask? It'd be much more hard to make that mistake, but... Still, everyone is probably questioning Manic's actions in that last match, standing by interrupting that 10 count when the referee was inevitably going to say that magic number 10. And then Manic would be going into the main event, but he didn't. He let the match continue. We'll have to see what that's all about when the ASF restarts, which is very, very soon. We're right around the corner from the, the comeback. Should be sometime this week. Roach.
So it's Metal Sonic in Chaos for Shadow to start off here, and Manic and Sonic for Manic Maniac. The brothers teaming up for Manic Maniacs. They didn't get a chance to in the tag team. Sonic was teaming up with Lisa. I don't think Manic was in the uh, the tags, was he? If he was, we can't remember, but he might have been. I think everyone was in eventually. I think he was actually with Bomberman. Oh yes, he was. So here we go, already to the outside of Metal Sonic and Sonic. They've had an historic rivalry in the past, both in the ASF and elsewhere. And Chaos now. Oh. Just delivering the punishment in only the best way he can. We're going to be so unbiased on this one. <laughs> That's because our, our team's not here. Our team sadly came forth. Yesterday, on the playoff, we'll see who comes first, though, tonight. It all depends on who's got the better team, and i got, uh, I got to believe Shadow's got the, the better team right now, at this very moment. Let's see if uh, Manic and Sonic can weather the storm of Metal Sonic and Chaos. And Metal, oh, get in there, and... Both in representative corners, both with a disadvantage here with the Manics Maniacs being hindered in the corners. Sonic back out. Chaos though. Oh, start rushing leg sweep. And Manic with a huge jump kick. Metal comes from behind Sonic. He gives him a couple of elbow shots, knocks him off. Uh, but Metal. Oh man, big scoop slam. Manic. Who's been utilizing the weapons here? They're all legal, of course. And Manic is the street fighter of the, the bunch. Though I've never seen Chaos and Metal Sonic stray away from the weaponry. And, well, wait a minute. Chaos. Chaos with the roll-up just behind there. That caught me off guard just as much as it did Sonic. Yeah, look, there you go. Already Sonic is out, isn't it? I don't know if that was just arrogance or if he didn't realize just like we didn't. There was a secret roll-up by Chaos there, and Sonic's out, and it looks like he's been replaced by Link here. So Link is in now for Manix Maniacs, who's now down to four members. Shadow Strikers still have all five. And they're going to keep all five, as long as these two keep pulling tricks like that. That came out of nowhere. Sonic copying Wario almost, much like Wario likes to copy Sonic with the supersonic elbow, but this time in, in the terms of how fast they got eliminated almost. But Sonic got surprised there and rolled up by Chaos. Smart thinking by Chaos. He's usually the powerhouse, but he came up there with a roll up. Oh, wait a minute, look at this double team by Link and uh, Manic. They've had a good history together, they're good friends. And now Manic with this crutch just hitting Chaos. Knocking him down to the canvas. Metal Sonic reversed that shot. Oh, well now he's going to use it on Link. Oh, look out. Link, uh, uh, Manic interrupted that, sorry. And Manic with a roll up on Metal now, but only a one count. Metal's too smart for that, that's for sure. And a suplex. Suplex by Chaos. Manic now going for the submission on Metal Sonic. Not gonna work, I don't think. It's nice to see these guys trying. We've seen a lot of submission attempts by these guys during this World Cup. Because it has been very important to make people tap. Uh, and in a submission hold. Because that was worth 10 points in the first two weeks. And now we're seeing more examples of it here. Manic currently pounding the corner with Metal Sonic. And Chaos. Hey, sidewalk slam! And Manic again with another roll up on Metal. He's trying to sneaky approach it seems and a huge crossbody to follow up. Pinning Metal again. Oh, he got him. Manic just keep kept on pinning Metal's shoulders to the floor and somehow he's beaten Metal Sonic. Look at this crossbody. Oh, huge impact there. Huge, huge impact. And now who's the replacement for that? There goes my idea out the window. Well, it's still Grim, hardcore champion, who has replaced Metal here. I can't believe Metal's gone already. I can't believe it either. But here we are. So the mascot Rumble winner comes up short, but Manic was definitely pressing there. 
and Manuel just eventually just succumbed to the surprise of Manic just keep on pressurizing with those pins. Two big shockers already in this final. Let's see what happens next. Can there surely be any more? We got f still four members of each team to eliminate here, so who knows? Grim Grim for the early cover there. Oh. And Chaos having his way with Manic with that Kindo stick. With that Singapore cane. <laughs> yeah, it's got several names, it seems. Manic, pull back. Oh, a couple of shoulder thrusts later. And oh, Grim. Missed with that diving clothesline there. He knows how to bring it. He's retained the Hardcore Championship through the uh, One Night Only events. He certainly has. That, that's been an intriguing story in itself, thanks to that 24-7 rule, which not, is not in play here in this match, but it will be on our comeback. Really? Yeah. Hardcore, hardcore title will be defended 24-7. I think the fans have been demanding it for quite some time, and finally, <laughs> the ASF has answered, and that's what will be coming back. After the, uh, when the uh, ASF comes back full time, sometime this week, the hardcore title can be defended at any time as long as there is a referee present and obviously the hardcore champion, that being Grim. Wonder how long he's going to keep it with that ruling. Well, one reason to tune in for when we come back. <laughs> That's for sure. Link with an Irish whip reverse ducks underneath and strays off there. Not sure what he was going for. Probably couldn't think of something to do, so just backed away and let Grim run himself out there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, double team suplex. Grim and Chaos working in a cohesive unit here for their team. The Shadow Strikers. Manic goes in to get a weapon. Chaos was attempting that clothesline from hell. Misses. Oh, Chaos Control Bomb. Countered, Link's got the pin instead! And the unpinnable one still proves to be unpinnable. And oh god, he got a huge clothesline for his troubles. The clothesline from Hell, and wait a minute, hooking the leg here, going for a cover. Referee needs to get into a position here. He's gonna be a bit betty again through this match, isn't he? No doubt. <laughs> it's all a bit chaos inducing. No pun intended. And now Manic and Link with weapons, at least momentarily. Link using that Singapore cane. And, oh! Link countered that suplex. Manic over with Grim. Wait a minute. No oh, Chaos just wrenching the arm there. And Manic misses with a clothesline. Oh god, and gets batted by Chaos with that ring bell. And then gets sailed over the top rope by Grim. And now Chaos working over Link's head with that ring bell. Not good for the long run. Certainly not. And, oh. Got an elbow to drop on the referee there. Inadvertently, I think. Link was aiming for, for uh, Grim there. Didn't get it. And Chaos, again, this power coming into play. Dropping Manic on his leg in an awkward position. And now Link's turn. <laughs> Wait a minute, Grim, with a roll up here. Oh. Got interrupted by Link a bit too fast. You gotta have eyes in the back of your head in this match. Make sure you can go for a pin and make sure no one's gonna break it up. And pinning at the right moment as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard thing to do in this type of match. Chaos just pounding on Link in the corner here. And with these chops and punches right to the face. And Grim, working over on Manic there, wait a minute, now going over to Link who somehow fights his way out of the corner and sends Chaos across the ring, oh, sharp shot there, onto the forehead of Grim by Link, I oh, know, a Chaos clothesline, <coughs> bit of a mess up there, both by me and the game, <laughs> wait a minute, 
Chaos Control Bomb coming up. There it is. That's the Chaos Control Bomb Manic, though. Grim should have uh, stopped Manic from intercepting there. That was perfectly executed by Chaos. But just not for the timing, like you said, Eggman. Got to make sure the other person can't invade. And break it up. Well, not only that, but the other per it, it comes in handy when the other person manages to realize that they need to stop the other person from breaking it up. That's what he called teamwork. And Chaos displaying his power and dominance here throughout this match. He's going to be a definite hard target to eliminate, unlike the other two that we've seen currently. Metal Sonic and being surprisingly eliminated by Manic. And Sonic being eliminated by Chaos with a quick roll-up that we didn't see. Neither did Sonic. Uh, Chaos, whoa! I guess he's fed up with the referee as well. We're all getting fed up with the referee. When you get a second? Uh, when, we, when we have the comeback. <laughs> and Grim with this Reaper bomb. He's all over Manic. All that body weight on top of Manic here. Oh, no, he didn't. And Gr uh, the Link. Going for a cover, didn't work, only got a one count out of Chaos, the unpinnable one, still unpinnable. And they... Into the ropes goes Manic, Grim misses, and targets Link instead, picks him up. Gets knocked down, and Manic, with a right to freedom, oh, that was straight into Link though. He got Chaos into his back, and oh god, what a drop kick there. Grim holding that fire extinguisher, Manic didn't want any part of it. But uh, Manic and Link now feeling the effects of this match, it would seem. Running a bit low on fuel. Manic's been here since the get-go. As has Chaos. Manic might be the next one to go here. Grim's just continually firing this fire extinguisher of people. Having his hardcore away with the, with the current participants in there. And now this... Oh, look at that. Oh, man, just shoving Link backwards. Grim displaying his uh, strength there. Doesn't usually do that. Usually lets the weapons do the talking for him. Wait a minute, here's a cover. And, oh, only a two count goes Link. After some Grim harassment. That sounds really bad. <laughs> Manic and Link have got to do some recovering here. Wait a minute, Manic's going for a hook of the leg. Again, chaos. Just... I'm going to be able to pin him so easily here. Oh, wait a minute. Chaos Control Bomb coming up for Link. Oh, there it is. And Link's shoulders are down. Grim's in control, keeping Manic at bay. And Link has been eliminated by Chaos. That's the second person eliminated now by Chaos. With this Chaos Control Bomb. Perfect timing. Straight in the middle of the ring. And Link is out, and now he's been replaced by Bomberman here. So now let's do the scoreboard here. The Shadow Strikers still have four members. Manic Maniacs now down to three. So the last person to replace either Manic or Bomberman, if they get eliminated here, is going to be the last person now. Then they won't have any more replacements. Whereas Shadow still has two people left to come out, including himself. He hasn't been in this match yet. And that Bomberman, though, coming in, fighting here. Look at this. Oh, man. What will these guys do to win the first ever ASF World Cup? Only time will tell. We've seen some incredible stuff so far. Wait a minute. Referee got <laughs> shunted down there. And now Bomberman with these lefts and rights. Mannequin Chaos still in this match. And we're coming up to the 20 minute mark. Oh. And Bomberman. With a bit of sliced bread there. It's more like a Dudley dog almost. Well, Ma Bomberman is the high flyer out of this bunch. But oh man. He's able to use those ropes to his advantage. And Grim. With a power shot there. Slamming Manic down. Um, again, with another Singapore cane. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> bit of miscommunication there. Don't want to get on Chaos's bad side if you're on the same team as him, especially. I'm thinking back down to Survivor Series with that moment. <laughs> well, that was a different kettle of fish altogether, though. 
This is for the World Cup. I think Kels is going to stay within the guidelines of the rules here. Whereas the Survivor Series match that you're referring to was for the for, for all the marbles, the Intercontinental and World Championships. Which everyone wants. Oh, but this is a team effort game, this is. And Chaos fully realizes that. Going outside for more weapons here, gets a ring bell. And Bombman though cuts him off. Irish whip into the ropes. And oh look at this, the strength! Oh man! We well, didn't get all of it, but it was a slam of some kind, and one man just decided to cut upon himself outside of the ring. He was probably aiming for Grimm, who was out there, but completely missed. Grimm was getting back into the ring as it happened. And now Bomb Man going up top. Here's the high flying at his work, at his best. And oh, missed. He jumped over every single participant there, though. That proves his springboard ability. He can certainly fly. Soaring through the sky. And Manic now with this Singapore cane. Attacking Chaos. Oh, bit of miscommunication there. Grim with a slamming Bomberman down and face first into the canvas. The, 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 uh, the ring is basically another weapon for Grim to use. He just sees it as a weapon, a tool to damage you. Certainly does, but I think Manic just found a way to do that as well with that uh, modified uh, neck breaker there. And now Manic with the fire extinguisher having his way. What? A, watch out! <laughs> Open fire! <laughs> <coughs> and oh, look out! Manic sends Chaos into the corner. Grim currently in that position. Bomberman trying to keep him grounded. And into the other corner now. Chaos reverses a the suplex. Oh, and gives one of his own. Manic's got to get an elimination here because it'll, he's got to keep that numbers advantage. If he loses another member, this is bad news for Manic for winning the World Cup. Because that's going to be four on two. So yes, this is a must elimination two. for Manic perhaps to keep the score even. Because otherwise it's going to be a bit difficult to come back. And oh, bummer man. More of these shots in the corner and a high kick right into the face. Grim comes up from behind and delivers a nasty shot with that belt. Right in the face. See, he's the hardcore champion. There's an example right there. Slamming that belt right in his face. And wait a minute. Manic goes for a kindle stick on the outside. Goes back in. Oh, look out. <laughs> Referee got tripped up. Manic. Wait a minute. Bomber man. Oh! Mega power bomb. Initiated. And Grim is down. And he's eliminated. Chaos. Didn't get a chance to interrupt there, and Bomberman has scored an elimination, this time over Grimm. Here's that impact once more again. Chaos was unable to uh, to stop that one. Amazing impact of that mega powerbomb. And here we are. Oh, it's Aki. I forgot all about Aki, but then again, we I, I was only counting Shadow as an extra member for the Shadow Strikers. There were two more. So we know Shadow is going to be lost in for the team, it would seem. Unlike Manic, who was the exact opposite. And he's still in this thing, along with Chaos. Who's going to be a heck of an ordeal to eliminate. But Ataki here has replaced uh, Grimm. The wild card has been unleashed. It's almost Attack of the Clones with him and Manic. <laughs> I guess they've seen mirror images of each other finally, because they're on separate shows. Aki from Raw, Manic is on Smashdown. First time meeting for these two, even in this World Cup they've never met. Hey! Now they finally have. And from the looks of things, Manic is not too happy about having a look-alike. But you didn't expect Aki to be in the SF for this long, did you? No, I didn't, but apparently the fans like him, so I'm keeping him here. <laughs> and, well, wait a minute. Oh. Aki. 
Well, using and trying to use his head there to his advantage. Jackie does have one of those he big heavy heads. The skull is almost like a uh, like a crash helmet. Imagine being hit with one of those. I wouldn't like to picture being hit with one of those. Manic and Chaos were having an exchange on the outside. Referee's got a 10 count to work with. Manic, though, is going to get back in at the count of 7. And, whoa, comes back in with authority. Chaos's shoulders are down. Only for another 1 count. The unpinnable one, I wouldn't even try it. I'd just be going for that count out. I really would. The unpinnable one is going to stay unpinnable. If you try and use that avenue of victory, it's going to cost you. That's as may be, because Chaos is still here despite several pin attempts. Chaos was there to interrupt that pin on Aki there. Reversal of the Irish Whip into the ropes. Ducks underneath. And, oh, Aki almost followed up with something there. Got interrupted, though, with whatever Bomb Man did to Chaos. Wasn't looking there. And, oh, why else can only be on one thing at a time? <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Chaos now, side headlock. Got a rope break from the referee, too close to the ropes for that move. And Bomb Man with a side, a uh, sidewalk slam there on Aki. Wait a minute, going into the corner now. Oh, Aki though, sandwiching Bomb Man into the corner against Chaos. That's a charming way, um, way to put it. <laughs> And, well, Aki had a roll up there, but he was too distracted by counting Manic out, or at least starting the count. Wait a minute, Chaos following up here with his attack. Manic on the outside here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Chaos just crashed into a out table here. This, I don't like the looks of this this idea here. Manic just got a... Sorry, uh, Aki, I'm getting the two confused now. Wait a minute. Oh! Manic was looking for the right to freedom, planning on doing it through our announce table. Referee's up to seven with his ten count. Wait a minute. Oh, chaos reversed. Manic again. Oh, he seems to be determined now. I think he finally realizes that chaos is the unpinnable one. And he's not going to be able to eliminate him, but he was planning to eliminate him there in the worst way. He was going to ride the freedom to our announce table like he was saying. And oh, Manic was aiming for Aki there. Missed. Fell all the way to the outside there. Manic pulling out all the stops it would seem to at least get rid of someone here. It's not working though. Shadow's still got the advantage. Even if it is three on three now. I think you're right. The two more dominant people. As much credit as I usually give Manic and Bomberman. Who is the uncrowned champion. Probably no match, at least for Chaos, who's definitely having his way in this match. Even if they tried to get him counted out, that wasn't any good either. They're losing a lot of advantage, uh, advantage windows to eliminate Chaos here. And Manic, with this huge Singapore cane shot, knocking Aki backwards like he was ejected out of a car or a plane. We'll go with a car. <laughs> He didn't fall from a ridiculous height. He didn't, but it probably felt like he did. That's what I was trying to portray, you know? You get that? Yeah, yeah. And Bomb Man with these, these kicks right to Aki this time in the corner. Manic going for the submission. Look at this. Oh, Chaos so fought out of it. Man, Chaos is proving himself to be unstoppable in this match. No matter what you do, it seems, Chaos just keeps on fighting back and finding new ways to get get uh, get the advantage here and become even more unstoppable than what he already is and that's a dangerous thing to take into consideration yeah the longer this match goes the more it's got a favor chaos you got to fit you got a picture yeah yeah that's exactly what I was gonna say wait a minute oh double suplex this time by Manix maniacs on chaos and going for another double team but chaos Managed somehow to flip his way out of that one. A double kick right into Manic's face. The agility of Chaos can sometimes be very surprising. He's very athletic for his size. And reversal of the Irish whip. Oh, 
Manic goes into the ropes, but Mano capitalizes with a quick shot right to the face. Manic invertedly accidentally drop kick Bomberman there in all the confusion. Wait a minute. Oh, Aki's going for the tree stump. There it is. The tree stump of Bomberman. Wait a minute. Manic's been thrown back outside the ring here. And now Aki with a cover on Bomberman. One. Oh. Well, it was, well, at least it wasn't going to be a three count. Referee once again distracted by Manic being counted out by the referee. And oh, Manic came back in with another sunset flip. But Aki there, here to break it up. And uh oh. Look at Aki. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Well, Manic's going to be singing some kind of high pitched music at some point. <laughs> that heavy head of Aki connecting with places we like not like to imagine. And oh, look at the outside, mega uh, uh, mega power bomb by Bomberman on the outside on Chaos. And referee has got is working his ten count here. He's up to seven. Is that going to be enough to keep Chaos at bay here? Now Bomberman is in full control. Another power bomb coming up. Wait a minute, Chaos is still outside the ring, ten. and he's out. Finally, after much attempt, Chaos has finally been eliminated. Can you believe it? Yeah, there you go. There's the finishing move. That mega power bomb on the outside. And here we go. Shadow is in. Now, oddly enough, he's down to two members, being Aki and himself. And we've yet to see actually Lisa, the, the women's competitor out here, who Manic was bragging was going to make uh, Shadow tap so to speak, and there's the perfect opportunity now if Bomberman or Manic gets eliminated here. But they could have a chance to eliminate Aki or Shadow here and have the complete advantage. That's going to be three on one in a handicap situation. And oh, I think Manic just realized he's back in control here. Nice move by Aki there. That sit down powerbomb into a pin. But Manic's team for the first time I think in this match is in control with the numbers game but Manic is now technically now thanks to Chaos being eliminated is the longest person in this match he's still here One, that I didn't expect well there you go I think Manic has claimed the, the, the reward for being the longest team captain to survive a number of eliminations and is still in this match oh Aki and Bomberman squaring off. Shadow going to the top rope here. Uncharacteristic. But it's the World Cup, like we said, and I guess Shadow wants to win. Either that or he wants to put on a good show. You know how much he likes putting on the show for these fans. That's true. <coughs> There's a lot of fan favorites currently in the ring, I might point out. Most definitely the Uncrowned Champions, the Intercontinental Champion Shadow, and the Wild Card Aki, certainly. And Manic is also always gunning for the fans, it would seem. Don't count him out. I wasn't going to, but I don't think he's... Uh, when, when it comes to the other three, that he's that popular. But that's just me. Prove me wrong, people. And, oh, the Shadow may be looking for an ultimate pedigree there. Oh, God, got a spear instead of Manic. Got turned upside down and inside out. Huge velocity there off that spear, just out of nowhere. Wait a minute, no, oh, another ultimate pedigree reversed. Wait a minute, Aki with another tree stump. Oh, God, got interrupted right at the last minute. Manic in there with a sledgehammer shot, it would seem. In another company, that would be the end of the match. <laughs> Not here in the SF, we're still going. And Shadow now, finding his way with Manic's legs. Focusing in on those, we know how Shadows like to use those submissions, especially that evil modified figure four. And Aki with a poke in the eye, those big eyes of Bomberman being, uh, being harassed. And Shadow now with a sleeper hold on Manic. Aki's ready to pounce, whoa, look out there. And wait a minute. 
Look out here. Oh. Clothesline. Shadow down. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Here it is. Oh, there's the loaded deck. By Aki, one of his new finishing maneuvers. And finally, Manic is out of here. He put up a good fight, though, but it was that loaded deck to deliver the final blow of the same move that eliminated Shadow from the Mascot Rumble once again plays its part here in the World Cup. And of course the replacement for Manic, we're down to two members each, is Lisa. Is Lisa going to be living up to what Manic told uh, Shadow in the uh, when we, they were picking up the participants? Lisa has the ability to make Shadow tap perhaps. They're both submission experts, but perhaps Lisa more so. She's more adverse, believe it or not, in the submission arts. And Lisa and Akido currently facing off. And Bomberman, oh man, that's a dream match in itself. Shadow and Bomberman. Yeah, we're seeing it right here. Well, I, uh, I did say right off the, the bat, at the start of this month, we're going to be seeing a lot of interesting matchups that we won't uh, otherwise get to see anywhere else. And we got Bone Man versus Shadow. Certainly have, and wait a minute, oh, Aki. Sidewalk slam by Bone Man. Who picks up this ring bell again, playing or using it. Oh, and that Aki's large head gets used in another fashion, this time to being maimed. Oh, Lisa counted the suplex there. She's the most freshest person in. Out of everyone, so maybe she has the advantage here, I don't know. She is the current ASF Women's Champion. We've got the Intercontinental Champion and the Women's Champion in the ring at the same time as well. That's a rarity. A lot of rarities and uniqueness about this World Cup, to say the very least. If you're not watching it, you're missing out. Certainly. Lisa with a hot shot on the Intercontinental Champion off the top rope. And reversal of the Irish Whip. Whoa! Too much velocity there. Shadow's proving that he's strong over the uh, the females because he was bragging that Lisa was the weak link out of the Manix Maniacs. I guess he's not feeling like that now, but maybe he was now after that throwing Lisa straight over the top rope. Well, we'll have to wait and see who gets the bragging rights out of this. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Who's going to be winning this first ever World Cup and also who's going to be settling some scores here? With Manic calling Lisa the weak link, and then Manic's claiming that Lisa could make Shadow tap. Only time will tell, but it's probably closing in. We're coming up to 40 minutes in this match now. And wait a minute, Bomberman, oh, going for that, that deadly, that deadly dog maneuver thing. They call it a deadly dog. <laughs> Lisa and Shadow just teeing off here, as the gods intended, so to speak. The team captains, more like. Yeah. <laughs> well, Manic certainly intended. They haven't met so far in this thing, but finally they have. And Lisa, whoa! With the Lisa Fraction. The Lisa Fraction. Aki's down! And not for so long, though. Referee took a little bit of a while to get into a position here. But, oh, there's another one! Another Lisa Fraction. And pinning Aki here, Shadow's going to get involved, though. Not a good time to pin. Shadow had the opportunity to jump all over that, and he did. Not going to get Lisa get this pinfall here. He's busy pounding away now on Bomberman, in the corner. Yeah, let me do the play-by-play. -play. Yeah, actually, you do it. You're much better. I struggled yesterday, I really did. <laughs> Oh, hot shot again by Lisa on Manic, uh, on uh, on Shadow. Sorry, Manic has uh, been eliminated. I don't know why he's still in your head. What the hell? <laughs> oh, look at! Hang on a minute. Bow and arrow lock by Lisa. Here comes the submission power. But only for so long. Shadow managed to break that up. Bow man not doing his job of keeping the uh, the hindrance there. But following up with Shadow, just got launched over the top rope to the outside here. Oh, reversal of a punch, Bomberman swoops over uh, Shadow there, but gets knocked, gets knocked down, Shadow now back into the ring, 
Now numbers advantage may come into play here. Because they're both now picking on Lisa. All is fair in love and war. And all is fair when it comes to females and male competitors in the ASF. Exactly, they're all on even playing fields. There's no gender restrictions here in the ASF. Wow, look at Lisa. Coming off the top rope there. Almost Bomberman-esque, but this time connecting. Is that a sign of disrespect I hear coming from you? Certainly not. I'm just putting out a floor. <laughs> Being the critic now, are we? Yes. <laughs> Lisa, oh, bow and arrow lock attempt. But Aki managed to break out of it this time. And now Shadow looking the maim. Oh, look out. Got thrown straight into Lisa doing a Lisa fraction. And again, this pinfall. And Lisa visibly frustrated that she can't get the pinfall here. She keeps on getting broken up. And if can't go for the pinfall, go for the submission instead. Oh, Aki broke it up again though before it was locked in and initiated. And uh, now, oh, boom, man. Tasting the steel off that bout. No, Aki is uh, oddly as well. I guess uh, Shadow doesn't like Aki all that much for pinning him in the rumble, and that was the, that was the comeback. <laughs> I guess so. And, oh, Lisa now using this weapon. That's uncharacteristic. I haven't seen Lisa utilize a lot of weapons in her, in her time here in the SF. Shadow, oddly going for a cover here. Lisa... Quite easily be able to break it up there. Aki couldn't stop her. And now Aki's ready to maim, perhaps, as Shadow would uh, grounds Lisa here. Wait a minute. Oh. Nice quick counter there by Aki, shall we say. And wait a minute. Shadow. Oh, can't get the uh, least is a bit too fast for Shadow, maybe. She's glad to move her. <laughs> Aki trying to go for a sleep hold. Lisa broke out of it, knowing her submission expertise. But both of them seem to be on even stalemates. Wait a minute. Oh, very close. Got the cover there on Bomberman. Lisa able to come in at the last minute. But I guess they're both uh, Aki and Lisa drove to, uh, trying to uh, show off their expertise when it comes to submissions and how to get out of them. Because so far they're on an even playing field when it comes to those. Wait a minute. Bomberman! Oh, again! With that sliced bread maneuver. I know it's a, a, a Dudley dog or whatever, but I'm calling it that. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> Lisa with another Lisa fraction in in the ring. Oh, Aki counters though once she got near. Came back up. And Bomberman may be looking to get uh, Shadow eliminated by count out, much like Chaos. Bomberman already eliminating two members, one by pit and one by count out. Amazingly eliminated Chaos as the Uncrowned Champion. That's what he did in this match. Is it going to pay off as these the guys continue to try and get the advantage here because the next one eliminated? It is going to come down to a handicap situation. And wait a minute. Lisa again with this bow and out lock. This time it's locked in. And Aki taps. Aki taps. And a Shadow was almost about to undergo a mega powerbomb there. But there you go. Finally it got initiated. Lisa makes Aki tap. The wild card taps out to that bow and out lock. It's an evil submission maneuver. Don't discredit it. Aki tapped out to a, a very powerful submission there. That Lisa was trying to lock in constantly in this match. And finally it paid off. So now Shadow is at the disadvantage here. He's got to take on both Bowman and Lisa. And Lisa has the opportunity to prove him wrong here by winning this match. Because it's only Shadow that needs to be eliminated. And that means Manix Mania Manix Maniacs may be winning the World Cup right here and now. If Shadow can eliminate another me uh, either Lisa or Bombman, though, it's going to be advantage for him, I feel. One. Shadow is a dangerous competitor, regardless if he likes and highly serves. She's on our announce table now. Three. Well, momentarily, anyway. I think Shadow just wanted to keep her at bay 
and then concentrate to go and walk back in the ring on Bomberman. Man. But as you were saying with Shadow, with the advantage, I've got to maybe believe you, especially if Bomberman gets eliminated, then it will be Lisa versus Shadow, and the only way to win would be for Lisa to pin Shadow. Or make him tap out, as Manic says. And, oh, Shadow. Hey! Nice uh, Hurricanrana there by Lisa, and even took Bomberman down, inadvertently. And Shadow trying to create some kind of offense against both of these guys. They're going to have the advantage throughout this match with the numbers game. Lisa coming in with more weapons. And, oh, gets shoved into the corner. And, uh-oh, top rope action. Is Bomberman going to interrupt it, though? Oh, yes, he is. Otherwise, Lisa would have gone for the ride there. Shadow was going to the top rope to initiate that suplex. I believe it was going to be. And, oh, Shadow with a chop lock. Takes Bomberman down. Lisa, trying to keep her distance here. Wait a minute. Oh, rib breaker. And Shadow just trying to keep every everything at bay with some offense here as best he can. He's got his back to the wall, so to speak. But don't count Shadow out of this match. Certainly not. Not yet, anyway. They've got the advantage. But how long can they keep it? Because Shadow's a very powerful competitor. Oh, you still got to always have uh, literally eyes in the back of your head now. With Shadow's case, got to watch out for either one of the participants ganging up on him from behind. Especially if he's only focused on one person. And there's a spear on Bomberman. And Lisa, though, with a DDT on the steel chair. Having her away with Shadow here, pulling him at the hair, down to the canvas. Wait a minute, here's a cover by Lisa, and Shadow just just kicked out off to two. Oh, Shadow knocks Lisa down with a vicious punch. And now that steel chair is being utilized now. He got his head DDT'd into it and gave both of his uh, competitors, his opponents here, a shot with that chair while they were grounded. And uh, Bomberman has the ability to tap here if he chooses to, because it's a sleeper hold. And oh, Lisa broke it up though. With a drop kick straight into, almost hit Bomberman there, but we've got Shadow in the face. And uh, wait a minute, against the ropes, and the sidewalk slam. Shadow's definitely pulling out all the stops now. He's the only one that can win him his World Cup. His first ever one. And, oh! Lisa with a hurricanrana again on Shadow. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh! Ultimate Pedigree! And there it is! Straight on to Lisa. Is he going to go for a pin to follow up? Here we go. Bomberman's down. And... Oh! Well, maybe if Lisa hadn't kicked out, but she did. Bomberman would have broken that up just at the last minute. But that was the... That was kind of too way too close there. I almost thought Lisa was going to get eliminated right there. But she's still here. Showing her toughness certainly in this match. Up against Shadow especially. It's, the, it, it, it's, it's those words you gotta, you got to think. That were said at the start of this whole thing. That are motivating Lisa here. Yeah, Shadow's comments are going to come back to bite him in the butt maybe. And Lisa, speaking of butts, just drop kicked him in there while he was trying to take Bomberman up for the ride on the top turnbuckle. Uh oh, Shadow back up top, but Lisa grabs him and holds him back into the center of the ring. Bomberman, oh, tries to, oh, miscommunication there. And Shadow's going to take full advantage of that. He's more used to a big match environment than these two ha are, with respect. And Shadow with another spear on Lisa. Is that going to be it? Oh no, too close to the ropes. I think Lisa's hand was on the rope. Couldn't quite see it, but at least the referee could have made the call. And now with a, co uh, a cover on Shadow. Oh, now he kicked out. That could have been the World Cup right there, but Shadow still able to kick out here. And oh, Boromar with a huge suplex. 
Wait a minute, soon to be joined by Lisa. A double suplex to the outside and Shadow is now feeling the worst of the wear here. It could be closing time for Shadow. And oh dear. Things are not looking good for the Intercontinental Champion. There was the Lisa Fraction. And now Bowman maybe. He's going to get his finishing move in. No, wait a minute. Lisa is going to do hers instead, but gets counted and, oh, shoved off in an aggressive manner. Chaos. Sorry, not Chaos. Shadow. Still uh, keeping the advantage, at least momentarily, but he's still got some recovery time to do, to maintain. But so far, he's still using his that brute strength that he has. Oh, man. Shadow is a very powerful competitor. They were talking about Mario and Wario being secretly powerful competitors. But Shadow is definitely matching them, I'd say. When it comes to that. And, oh. Bombman goes sailing over the top. Lisa, though, capitalizes. But Shadow's back to him with that bulldog. And Shadow is not looking good here. Wait a minute, it just captures Lisa with a with a headlock there. And the referee getting in the way there. Uh, and I don't blame Bombman. Really, I don't. <laughs> I don't blame him either. Everyone hates the referee, it seems. But they've got a good cause to. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think Shadow... Well, he tried to avoid coming onto an announce table. Well, that's the last place he probably wants to, wants to be here. But now he is climbing up on top. And wait a minute. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, Lisa goes head first off of the, uh, off of the announce table. Straight into the, the mat on the outside of the ring. That's not a good landing, but somehow she's back up again. And Shadow has had enough of the announce table, it seems. It was able to drop Lisa off it, though. Trying to head back into the ring. Reversal of the Irish Whip. Lisa goes over there, but doesn't connect with the wall. Managed to stop herself. Because who'd want to go into the barricade? It wouldn't be a happy landing there. So it's a good job she did. Shadow trying to maintain control here and doing a damn good job, I, I must say. He's been standing up to so much offense that Bomberman and Lisa have been bringing. And now maybe closing time for one of these two. Shadow is back in the driver's seat all of a sudden. Irish whip. Oh, wait a minute. There's a chaos reactor. We haven't seen one of those in some time. And sadly, it had to be on Lisa here in this match. That, the, the rivalry continues, shall we say. Oh, dear. Shadow. With a kick. Wait a minute. Whoa. Bomberman goes over the top. And, oh. Bomb man back up. Oh, wait a minute, Lisa. With a drop kick inadvertently hitting Bob Bomberman more so. And that could be the opening for Shadow here. Here's an ultimate pedigree. There it is. Oh no, Shadow. Unable to follow up with a cover here. Feeling the worst for wear again after trying to hold off all this offense. You gotta give a hand to Shadow. I'll take my cap off for him for his work so far, but he hasn't managed to eliminate either of these guys. Oh, there's another arm of pedigree, though. But Lisa's straight back up now. Reversal of the Irish Whip. Man, just so many... Oh, God, there's another one! Another Chaos Reactor, and Shadow is still somehow in control of this match. How much more has he got left in the tank? There's the cover. Bomberman had his leg hooked. The inside leg was hooked, but he still managed to kick out of that pedigree. Man, this is what a ASF World Cup final should be like. No doubt about it. Shadow is putting on a heck of a performance here, but so are these two able to still withstand the force of Shadow here. And wait a minute, Bomberman has got him up in this mega power bomb once again. And that's it. Oh, wait a minute, he's not going for the cover. Oh, there's a drop kick by Lisa. And now Bomberman dragging Shadow away from the ropes here, perhaps following up with a cover here. Is this going to be it? One, two, and 
Oh, it's a three count. I think Shadow just ran out of fight. But he went out fighting, my god. But it is Bomberman and Lisa, amazingly enough, to pick up the victory here. And we've got a ASF World Cup winner, and it is Manic's Maniacs. Manic and Sonic and Link and Bomberman and Lisa have all gained a victory here tonight and claimed the prize of the ASF World Cup. It's been a heck of a month and I guess Shadow just ran out of fight but my hand is off to him. He made a heck of an effort at the end there but it was not to be and it's Bomberman and Lisa to pick up the victory here and that's going to about close it up for the ASF World Cup. Thanks for watching folks and we will see you on our comeback either on the 2nd or the 5th of April. We will see you then. Good day and good night.